I'm honestly just filming this like a vlog, and you're just going with it like a tutorial. Whatever I fuck up on, let's pray you don't. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a crafting video because you know it's quarantine and I know a lot of you are gay, so let's get crafty. First of all, I just wanted to hope you guys know that I am starting my art career. Yes! I'm so excited. I decided that I'm gonna pull from every, every freaking thing that I've ever done for my entire like art career which has been going on since I was 16 not really 16 let's be real we all start off young um yatesh egg lister I just wanted to let everybody to know that we are doing this like I'm very proud of myself because I have okay so long story short two years ago unfortunately I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia Meaning, if you know anything about leukemia, it's a blood cancer. And the form that I got diagnosed with was acute lymphoblastic leukemia. There's nothing wrong with having cancer. It's just a setback. I'm 19. My nurses, my oncologists, they all tell me the same thing. That I have a strong outlook about fighting this. And I believe them. I believe them. So, I hope that comforts you in a way. I'm doing fine. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I wanted to start my art career was because my bills have been they've been piling up and I like I know I can do it this is a really good dream and opportunity for me to pursue um, my parents they've been very helpful from the beginning I just want them to be like you know kind of financially stable because I'm unemployed like when you get sick you're immunocompromised meaning you can't really do what you used to be able to do like I could have a job because my immune system could fight off infections but because my immune system is weak I can't really go to work because I see a lot of people people touch a lot of things and we got corona right now so we have a lot of outside things that can harm immunocompromised people so I don't have a job, um, but I want to help my parents with my bills because it's dangerous now, it's scary, and it's to the point where they called me when I left the hospital. I was in the hospital for uh, allo stem cell transplant. I'll do another video about that, but that basically just means that my stem cells, you know, because it's all science and stuff, I won't have to get technical right now, but the gist was my little brother Mason, he donated his stem cells into me and I'm doing healthy, I'm great. However, the side effect was graft versus host disease. That explains my face and I was in the hospital for a month because I had to go through a week of chemo, that's why I'm bald, <laughs> and three weeks of just waiting to see if I reject it, accept it, or oh, something, something, something to happen. And nothing happened. I was ready to leave, and I got home. I was home for two weeks. And then Graf versus Toast was like, bitch, what's up? And now I went back to the hospital. I thought I was only gonna be in the hospital for a day or two because I just went in for a fever. But no, your bitch has graft versus host disease. And that, it's in my stomach. My stomach's like always been a problem for me so I don't really have a problem with it. But I'm back home now. I have a shit ton of serotonin in me. However, I don't have any, what's it called? Melatonin. So I've been up and about. And I think I wanted to let you guys know that if you wanted to help me out, I have a GoFundMe. I'll put the link in the bio. Um, whatever you can donate. Like, I will accept anything, please. And I just hope you guys know how lucky I am to not have rejected the stem cell transplant. I am okay with what's going on. Everything is under control. I am home and I am safe. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Okay, so in this video, I am doing this like photo thing because I have 
a shit ton of insects. Like, dudes, a shit ton. And now I'm putting them to use. So there's not much a lot to it if you're creative. If you're not creative and you saw this video and you're like, that, I wanna do that, well, I will talk you through this, bitch. So, first things first, you're gonna wanna find a picture frame. A picture frame, you can go to Goodwill. You go to Goodwill, after you go to Goodwill, or any thrift store, you just find a large picture frame, okay? I, wow, a year ago, two years ago, was at Goodwill, saw this picture frame, and I was like, I want it, I'm gonna blow it up, I'll blow up a really good picture. That is also something you can do if you don't wanna do this. The fast ass thing is, you just have a shit ton of pictures, just make a collage, bam, poster, bam, CVS, bam. That's something. But what we're doing, we're going to have a lot of these. So, what I recommend you doing is finding your picture frame. After you locate your picture frame, you come home, all right? And then what I want you to gather are your photos. Now with these photos, you're gonna go through them thoroughly because you don't wanna botch this because you want it to be cute. You want this to be what people come into your room and go, oh my God, did you buy that? Speaking of buying, you can so hit me up and I will make you your own. I got you. But of course, additional cheese and pieces included. So I am going to go through all of these and I'm gonna start. And I really recommend you go through all of your photos, you find the ones that you want. And the great part about this is if you have like shitty photos, like, let's see where they're all black. Let's see. What's a bad photo look like? This is the bad photo. I have to cut this in half and then I'll stick it on there. However, these photos do not line up. So I'm a stickler and I want my photos to be white. Like I'm caring about this. So this is the white frame that I need. This is a good photo. And I'm going to just have to find a bad photo with a good frame. So this I could cut in half because for me, I have to do it. I have to cut it in half. Oh my god, titties. I'm sorry guys, I have nudes. Hit me up if you want my nudes. Only fans. Alright, so I'm gonna go through all of these. BRB. Alright, so something I forgot to mention, but it's kind of self-explanatory. However big it is, you're going to find the ones that you want and you're going to lay them out on top of it so that way you know how much you need. Just to say that, because I'm stupid and some people are like me out there, so just gotta do what's up for you guys. Um, my dad walked in on me, and, um, he almost saw my nudes for free. Okay, so, I did it. I finally, after forever, five ever, I finally got all the photos that I'm ready to put on to my, my picture frame. And here's where I decided to be a little narcissistic because honestly, there's so many things you can go through. You can pick a uh, really friends, um, vanity, because that's what I'm doing a little bit. I'm doing friends and vanity because that's just my shtick right now. And there's family, there's like seasonal too. So just go with what you want. Like if it's for your bedroom, make it personally yours with whatever makes you happy. That should be said like, <laughs> regardless and then there's like if it's in the living room especially for all of my people who are living on their own or with your roommates who's your best friend or college roommate you can make it both of yours okay this so these are all of my selfies like I said my selfies so we're gonna go over all of this because it's personal and you want you want this I'll show you all the sexy ones, just 
got to weed them out. These are my sexy ones. And I want everyone to know you are sexy. You're hot. Like, boys and girls, my non-binary baddies out there, if you want to be sexy, you're sexy, period. Because confidence is literally what gets you through everything. And I am a firm believer in self-positivity, self-love, and self-healing. So with that being said, you guys already know, like, I'm non-binary. Like, I don't, you know, cope with being a man. But, uh, but y'all already knew that. So look at this. Look at me. I don't know if this is what I'm gonna do. Look at that. Holy shit, I'm hot. Bad bitches. Middle fingers up. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is what we're talking about. That's some wet ass pussy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Bam. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And last but not least. Actually, it is least, but you know what? Whatever. Look at me! Look at me! I hate the fucking hospital. They really did this to me. They were like, fuck you, let's take away your skin. And I was like, oh my god, you guys took away my skin! Dudes, like, when you're in the hospital, it's just you in that room. And I literally just laid there. Like, I was in the hospital, like, so... Literally, my daily routine was hmm, waking up at 9 p.m. I mean, 9 a.m. Actually, that's a lie. Let me tell y'all the run through about the hospital. So, daily life. You're there when you wake up. So they have day shift and night shift like everybody else. During the day shift, you wake up, well, Night shift and day shift kind of back and forth. So let's start off with night shift. Because like that's really when you start stuff. Because at 12, that's when they take your vitals for whatever reason. And then around 5 a.m. they wake you up because they draw your blood. But if you're like me and you're used to it, you don't even feel it. Because like, you, why would I? I also take heavy meds for sleep. Because sleeping in the hospital, not fun. You cannot do that. It's too noisy. I mean, you could, but... I don't. The moment they're like, do you want Ambien? And I was like, oh my god, yes. So I take Ambien and I'm out like within minutes. Um, that or I take, what is it called? Benadryl. After like I'm out, I'm out. Like I don't see them, remember them when they come into my room to take my weight, my vitals. They do it like twice at night. And when they take your vitals, if you don't know what that means, they just take your blood pressure and then uh, the day starts. So shift changes at 7 a.m., 7 p.m. So... If I'm up, they like be like, hi, Colin, I'm your day nurse, but my day nurse is known not to touch me till 9 a.m. It's just facts. Like, Lauren and Gail, they come into my room at 10 a.m. and they're like, good morning, sunshine, good morning, princess. And I'm like, hey, guys. And they're like, so, I have your meds, here you go, blah, blah, blah. But the only culprits there are the CNAs. It's not their fault, it's their job, they have to take my vitals. So, like, around 7 a.m., like, I'm a little still sleepy sleepy, uh, my TNA will come in and she'll be like, hey Colin, how are you? I'm gonna take your vitals, okay? And then they take my vitals, after they take my vitals, I go back to bed, and then I sleep. And then my nurses come in, and like, good morning! By then I'm just on my phone watching TikToks or YouTube, but, there is the difference. If I'm there for two days, it's chill. I'm there for a month, it's chill. Same literal time difference. <laughs> I will be on my laptop watching YouTube videos. Previously, I could not eat because of my GVH, and I had to watch a shit ton of mukbangs. Proudest moment of my life. After working, not working, after just watching that, also Teen Wolf. All right, girlies, my gay boys. So, let's talk about Teen Wolf. <laughs> After Allison died the first round, I was like, fuck this shit, and I left. I was like, you killed Allison. And I know she was like, I'm old. I don't want to work with these fucking 20-year-olds. I'm almost 30. Ugh, poor girl. But then, I stuck around this time, and she came back as an ancestor, and I was like, yes, that's my bitch, that's Allison. Hell yeah. Good times. 
<sighs> the only times that I don't like was their last season, which is right now. Because, like, are you kidding me? They go through so many supernatural villains, and now they have humans as their villains because they're afraid. <sighs> Anyways, so these are my selfies, meaning that they're going to go on my selfie wall. Um, These are one bad. So these are my hot ones. Now we're going to go over the ones I'm going to put onto my thing, but I don't think I have enough. <gasps> I don't think I have enough! Oh my god! But don't fret. I have a secret. Um, oh. So a lot of it are my babes, like Bells. Oh, this is a better picture. And... Oh my god, I think I put my kids in here. My kids. Oh my god, me and Bells. We're so cute. Some of these, I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna scan them. Because I just want to keep them, like, forever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna have it, like, blown up. I'm cute. Oh, see, like I said, you guys, this is a good CNA. She was freaking fun. Loved her. Like, I could you not, when you're at the hospital, you have to be friendly. You have to be nice. So that way, the first time they see you, they know you're okay. They know your good days and your bad days, your mood swings. They get to know you because I feel like that's how we should address each other when we first see each other. You know what I mean? Like, we have vibes, we have energy, and you come at them with like, don't fucking touch me! Then they're like, oh shit, he's whiny. Or it's like, hey, what's up? Like, I don't really feel good right now. And they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I understand. I'll be super gentle. Because they're healthcare workers. They're people. They're people too. However, there are some dipshits who think that just because you're in healthcare means you could be a bitch. And let me tell you, ma'am, ma'am, Miss Karen, you wake me up at 8 a.m. for a pill that you know I can wait till 10 a.m. to take? Fuck you. Ooh, all my nurses that are watching me, Gail, Lauren, shh, I love you. Ooh, the other fuckers. But I won't name names because you know why? I don't remember some of you because drugs. I do remember her. Okay. Oh, see, Bells and I. Ooh, squad. Uh. <laughs> okay, let me just like lay them out in front of you. That's what I should have done in the first place. I'm just getting used to all this studio lighting. Like, I feel so kind of important. Okay, so with the photos ready, I don't know if I have enough yet, but so this is where math comes in. We know we hate math. I'm gay, I hate math whatever we so ooh, my food's ready stop that okay so um my picture frame doesn't fit so like i said in the beginning you want your main photos and then you're gonna want to find some shitty photos so that way you can just like cut them in half and everything's ready so that's what i did those are all my shitty photos and then i throw them away because once they're done, they're done. And how I have to do it is they line up halfway. So how I have to do it, I have to center it and then cut it in half and then everything should be groovy. And that's just it. And then once you, like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Like I have a spatula thing for Mod Podge. I think I might just Mod Podge everything. And it's either Mod Podge or tape. I'll try it with tape, see how I like it. Like, I want it to look aesthetically pleasing, so I'm gonna go crazy, and then I'll probably go over with Mod Podge. Unless I get creative, or but I don't know. We'll see.
Okay, so right now I am putting on washi tape on the back. I'm gonna flip it over just so I can get an eye on what I want. Okay, so glasses on. This is so far what I'm going through. I'm, I did all the washi tape and I'm gonna flip it over. And after I flip it all over, they're gonna show me like what I have and that's how I'm gonna rearrange it. Okay, so I have the puzzle theme going where I go around and then I fit everything inside. But as you can tell, Ori looks cute. All right, oh my gosh. This is actually kind of cute, not gonna lie. Um, so like I said, I do have a few tricks up my sleeve for to fill in the rest. Gotta take more photos! Eh. So this was just part one. If you want to see part two, come back and then wait a minute. Let me fall! So what? Uh. Alright guys, well this was just part one because I... I need to tell you a big secret. There's one of two things that's gonna happen. One, I could finish this tonight because I have a printer that I can just print photos if I want to, which I will because I have a shit ton of photos. Secondly, if you don't have enough, don't fret. Like, you got time. Take your fucking pictures. You know what I mean? Like, if anything, I could add on, uh, I don't know. See, the, how I picked it was just because some of these photos, they just stuck with me. Some of those photos did not stick with me. I was like, I am not gonna put that on there because that's not, that's not what it's about, you know? It's not what it's about. So, I'll let you guys have fun. I really hope you guys stick around. Please go to my GoFundMe. I need the help. It's very serious now. Otherwise, I wouldn't even bring it up because why would I? Because I feel like bringing up, like, I don't know, just money in general is nasty. But, like, helping one another is something that we need to do and come together. Um, my sign-off, Black Lives Matter, Black Trans Lives Matter, and remember their names. <laughs>